Hey guys, it's Mike, and in this video I want to share with you five surprising MOS skills that you'll need to know for your exam. So the first skill we have is deleting or hiding comments, and keep this in mind that even though I'm using PowerPoint, this could be relevant for your Microsoft Word or Excel exam, as you can add comments or delete comments um, in those three programs, PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. So uh, the second one says delete the comment on slide two. So Although it says slide two, that makes our job easier. Sometimes um, your exam won't do that. It'll just say delete the first comment. So sometimes you might have to come to the uh, review tab and then open this comments pane and it'll open a box to the right of your screen. And if it said delete the first comment, we can, and it doesn't tell us what slide it's on or where it's located in your document, um, you can just say next. And that'll take us to our first one. If it was the second comment, you would just click next again. But here we have the comment on slide two. And to delete it, you can just press that X or you can just say uh, delete the comment here in your review tab. And then the comment is gone. If I wanted to, I'll go undo that. If I wanted to hide the comment, what I would do is select the comment and then go to the show comments drop arrow and say show markup. Okay, that's not deleting it, it's still there. It's just um, taking it or hiding it uh, from the presentation. So if you want to leave a comment there, but just kind of hide it and come back to it later, that's how you would do it. Go to show comments and then uh, show markup. And if I press it again, it would come back. So that's how to hide a comment. So uh, make sure that when you're completing um, your exam, whether it's in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, if it says hide comment, you just go to show comments and then take off show markup. And if it's delete, then you uh, go here with the comment selected. So the second surprising skill you'll have to know for your MOS exam is file properties and how to change them. And specifically, we're going to um, go to the presentation properties and type in the subject box. So um, if you have anything to do with the property of the file, you go to fi the file tab. And in the info tab right here, that's sort of the default when you click uh, file. Um, if you go to show all properties, you'll have all these options. You'll have titles, tags, and you might be asked, or st even status or subject. Um, that, so that's some of the properties or what some people call the metadata of your file. Uh, it just gives more information about your file. If you have similar files, this helps you um, uh, pick the right ones. So this one says, in the presentation properties, which are in, type in the subject box, marketing plan. So we have to either change, yeah, marketing, marketing is there and we'll just add plan. So, and it's crucial for your exam if you uh, type that in, don't press anything else. If you put a space there, sometimes they'll mark that wrong. So if we just type in marketing plan and then click outside um, and leave it like that. So that's how you would change the um, subject. And sometimes you'll be asked to change the title or tag or anything like that. So the properties is here in the info tab in your in your um, file tab so the third surprising skill that'll be on your MOS exam is the how to embed fonts and what that is is basically if we find a cool font that we like in a newer version if you have maybe like a 2019 or even 2016 version of Word Excel or PowerPoint and you want to save it if just in case that you're presenting on a older version of those programs um, you'll want to save the font that isn't available in the older programs, sort of like a picture, and that's what embed fonts means. So it's just embedding uh, newer font styles. Or maybe if you've downloaded uh, a font type and included it into your uh, presentation, that is how we can save the fonts in our current presentation so that if we go to deliver this with an older version of PowerPoint, it'll save it. So, um, the way, so that's called embed fonts. And... The way you do that is go to the options. So in the file tab, go to options. And it's in the save options. If you're about to do an MOS exam, I would get used to some of these options and what they do. So maybe just um, explore a little bit, explore these tabs. This is in the, um, this would be in the save options. So right at the bottom, we say save option tab. And then embed fonts in this file, I accidentally clicked that before. So make sure that is clicked. And then unless they tell you to embed all characters, um, just assume that it's the embed only the characters using this presentation option. And then press OK. 
So that is how you um, embed fonts in the file. Similarly, the next one is how to, uh, let's go over proofing options. So again, options, and then you can go to proofing. This has a lot of options for grammar and spelling. And this task is gonna ask us to modify the proofing options for this file and choose to hide spelling and grammar errors. So hide spelling and grammar errors. Maybe if uh, you're typing in someone's name, it keeps coming up as a spelling error, you wanna hide, hide the spelling and grammar errors and then you press okay. And the last surprising skill that we're gonna cover is very unique to PowerPoint, and that's creating a custom slideshow. And I'm just saying this is surprising because we don't use this a lot, so um, I've never used a custom slideshow before, but it has its purposes. Maybe if you wanna create something that's like the presentation, but a little bit different, uh, you can create a custom show or maybe take out slides and change it for whatever reason. So. Um, creating a custom slideshow. So your MOS exam will have this on it. And the way you create a custom slideshow is to go to the slideshows tab, click on it, and go to the custom slideshow drop arrow and create a custom show by clicking custom show. We're gonna say new. And then we're only gonna include slides one. So I'm gonna add each one by one, just to make sure three, four, and five so i'm going to click on each one and click add so these become the new slides one two three and four for our custom show and then you can change the order by clicking on the in this uh, slides and customs show and then the read order up or down so this task says make the networking slide the new slide three so that just means move the networking slide up one and now the networking slide is the new slide three in our custom show and most of the time we'll be asked to change the slideshow name. So make sure you type in exactly how it's spelled, even with uh, proper capital letters. Essential marketing. All right, so if we press OK, now we've got our essential marketing show, and then you can just close this.